This video is supported by the Nadester. Check out his channel today for Halo 5 competitive games and Halo 5 commentaries. Hello guys and gals, my name is Dividable Halo HD. Welcome back to another episode of Thoughts and Opinions. Once again, this video series is unscripted, so yeah. Anyways, uh, if you guys are new to the Thoughts and Opinions series, basically what I do is I talk about my thoughts and opinions about a certain topic of this video. So anyways, for today's first topic, we are going to be talking about Warzone Firefight. So Warzone Firefight was released about a couple days ago, and note this is just only the beta, and me and a group of friends have been just playing it. However, we noticed a few pros and we've noticed a few cons about the game, which I'm basically going to express right now. So one of the pros of the game mode is pretty much you get to use weapons that you don't normally use. Things such as like kind of light rifles, vehicles and whatnot, kind of stuff that you don't really want to pull out in a normal Warzone game. As basically you can die instantly and you kind of just fear of losing this weapon and sometimes you're just targeted because you're holding a weapon or using a certain vehicle. So it's kind of great to kind of just pull out these weapons that you don't really use and yeah. Uh, another thing is it's kind of like a side activity game. It's a nice thing that you can do um, to just kind of chill and play around. It's not really as intense as doing normal Warzone and normal Warzone Assault as it's just pretty much you can just chill, kind of play around. You're not really competing against anyone. Yes, there are objectives. However, the objectives aren't really that hard. It's also a game type that anyone can play without getting farmed by the enemy team. So once again, one of the biggest problems in Warzone and Warzone Assault is just getting farmed by big, huge Spartan companies. Spartan companies such as Party of Gaming and, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Party of Gaming is probably the biggest one that a lot of people talk about. But yeah, it's just annoying to get farmed when people are just sitting there literally killing you. And one thing I've noticed is a lot of people rage quit and a lot of people get frustrated with people that just do farming in general. Anyways, another thing that you can do is you can just pull out weapons and vehicles once again without worrying that you're going to be targeted. I just stated that before, but yeah. So those are the pretty much the pros of Warzone Firefight. There are a ton more, but yeah, these are the main ones. Now some of the cons of pretty much Warzone Firefight is it kind of feels like it gets a bit boring after playing a few games and it kind of feels a bit repetitive. Even though there are a few bosses that are changed per game, it kind of just feels the same. One thing that I've noticed is it kind of feels like you're constantly told to kill this and kill that, and it's lacking an objective such as defending the garage. Now note this is Warzone Firefight, so pretty much Firefight you are told to kill this and kill that. However, it just I feel like there could be more objectives added to this. Uh, one thing that I could say is we could possibly have more mythic bosses in the game uh, that are more resistant to whatever weakness a normal boss may have, such as maybe a Phaeton, a Banshee... One thing that I love to see is maybe a scorpion boss being put into there. As we've seen in normal Warzone, there is pretty much a mantis boss when you have to um, kill a boss in normal Warzone. But yeah, seeing something like that would probably be amazing as we pretty much are only introduced to Knights, uh, Warden Eternal, and the Hunters as mythic bosses. But yeah, that's really what I have for the cons. Uh, we're going to be moving on to whatever hopes we have. Some hopes that I would love to see is more objectives added such as perhaps a survival round where pretty much we are tasked with surviving a round with a set amount of lives. Or even something like a CTF where you are chased down by enemy AIs or bosses or whatnot. Or even something where you pretty much have to go through a set of bosses, AIs or something like that in order to deliver the flag. That's just honestly my personal preference and something that I would just love to see. Uh, obviously we would love to see more maps uh, as we know this is just a beta so we can't really expect more and maybe a few things that are kind of uh, fixed for the final game type. One of the biggest problems that I've noticed is one during the Phaeton killing, where you pretty much have to kill a Phaeton, um, you can easily hijack a Phaeton, and uh, if you hijack the Phaeton, and, uh, one of your teammates can pretty much just kind of uh, play around or troll around or whatnot by uh, making you lose the game because you have to kill that Phaeton, and obviously you can't really uh, team kill vehicles or whatnot. So perhaps a few patches, uh, something along the lines of that. But overall, it's such a great game type, and I'm excited to see more when it comes out, the official game type, when the official game type comes out. But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts and opinions about Warzone Firefight. Um, if you guys enjoyed, uh, be sure to hit that like button. Also, comment down below on what are your thoughts of Warzone Firefight, what you want to see in the official game, and whatnot. 
Anyways, guys, my name is Devital Bahalo HD. I'll talk to you guys all next time. Bye. Yeah.